so it's very windy out here and it's kind of hard to see but this is the lake in the back of my house but you see that i'll put a nice little hanger over there so that you can see it that pole is baited with meat and a hook it is a gator trap and i am super pissed that my neighbors called because these gators have not been nuisance or coming up on the bank or harming anybody but they called on them to come and remove this gator who, you know, really hasn't been doing anything except, I don't know, live in his home, which is this lake. Now you might think I'm crazy because you might think, why on earth would you want alligators? Don't you want them to be removed? But I don't. I've lived here my whole life. We know how to not get eaten by an alligator, which is to not go in the water here. And I don't let my kids out unattended and I don't let the dogs out unattended. But I get super ticked because I kind of feel like this is, this is the alligator's home. And yet these people keep calling to have them removed. And until they're a nuisance, there's really no point. Like, leave them alone. They're in their house. So it, it super ticks me off, which I probably sound like a crazy person for that, but that's just the truth. Um, I'm getting ready to go inside and cook dinner before I pick up the kids because my oldest has asked me to take him back to the school play tonight, which is they're doing the Adams family. And he doesn't want the rest of the family to go. He just wants to go with me because for some reason he feels that that would be less embarrassing than taking the entire family. So that is on the agenda tonight. Time to make dinner. I'm gonna have some raviolis. I've had my sauce on since earlier this afternoon. Very exciting. And now I think I will show you guys the office reno. So as you can see, there's a legitimate door and the look of a legitimate wall. I can see underneath there though. <laughs> I'm coming in. And, oh, we've got insulation. Half of a wall. That looks like baseboard. There's the new hot water heater. The old hot water heater. The hole that goes into Sophia's room now. Cords for days. It's called venting. Oh yeah. So how do you feel? Do you feel like we're noise. thunder? We're about to have a storm. How do you feel like you're going to be able to stay on track here? It's going to be close. What do you mean? You're not feeling solid about a Friday finish? It's going to be close. Hmm. How many trips to Home Depot have you made? Five. How many trips to Ace Hardware? None for this. I stopped myself, so I know at least one. Yeah, that, that wasn't my trip. Oh. So, it looks like Friday. We'll see. I'll keep checking you in each and every day. This this part of the wall got forgot. <laughs> I didn't forget. I'm not done. Mm -hmm. Just work it. Work, 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 work. Yeah, it's not like that in here. <laughs> work, 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 work. What was that video? I don't know. Do I look like those Fifth Harmony guys? You do. You look just like them. That's what I was thinking. Holy Brian, Brian, will you please have my ravioli? Don't you like my singing? Brian, Brian, do you love my ravioli? I won't question that. Do you love my singing, Brian? Do you love my singing, Brian? Are you telling the truth? Brian, do you want ravioli? Yes, I do. Okay, good. I'll just keep singing for the rest of the night, okay? What? No, I, I meant uh, no and yes. You meant no as in yes? Probably. We are about to have the first thunderstorm of the season, and Velma is not having it. Having it. Velma, come here, sweet. You're gonna be okay. Come sit with mom. No. 
upset. I know, I know, you're very anxious. You're very worried. I know, you can hear the thunder. Yeah, I know. Are you worried, Daph? Daph's not worried, but this one is stressed. There she goes. She doesn't know what to do with herself. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down, you're okay. Oh man, it's gonna be a really long summer and we're only hitting spring. The first rain of spring and it came down fast. Off to the school play we go. So we ended the day by taking my son, just my son and I, my oldest, to the middle school production of The Addams Family. <laughs> and it was fantastic, and these kids were hilarious, and it amazes me that they can remember that many lines. But I sat there with him and would catch glimpses of him out of the corner of my eyes, we were watching this production and it's terrifying to realize um, how quickly he has grown up. He, you know, is this tweenager, um, but he still allows me to participate in aspects of his life and asked me to take him to this play. And so then we went, we were gonna go to Dairy Queen afterwards, but good Lord, it was National Free Cone Day and. Dairy Queen was packed, so we went to McDonald's and got some McFlurries and then talked about his favorite TV shows, and it was really nice to have just some time with him. So I'm going to try to make a point of having more individual time for the kids, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, because I think that's necessary, but... Uh, overall, it was a good day, and it's amazing that he, uh, he might not hold my hand anymore, but he still let me hang out with him tonight at the uh, middle school play, so I'd say that was a win.